Hi everyone! Welcome na naman sa I Love Math. Sa video na ito, tatalakay natin graphing system of linear equations in two variables. Pero bago tayo mag-umpisa, please hit like and subscribe. Then, pindutin na lang din ninyo ang notification bell para ma-notify kayo kung mga, may mga bagong video na i-upload ko. So, simula na tayo. Uh, natalakay na natin last uh, sa ating previous video ang uh, kinds of graphs sa system of linear equation. Meron tayong tatlo. Una, itong graph na to na kung nakikita na ninyo na, na, uh, nag-i-intersect yung line dito yung dalawang equation. Meron silang isang intersection point. So, dahil nag-intersect yung line, ito yung tinatawag na intersecting line. Intersecting line, uh, dahil mayroon silang point of intersection, isang point of intersection. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang din yung solution nila. Dahil yung point of intersection ng dalawang line, ayun ay yung solution. So, isa lang yung solution natin dito. Then, this system is called consistent and independent system. So, sa pangalawa, kung nakikita natin, nag-coincide sila. So, this is called the coinciding line. Then, lahat ng points na nandyan lies on this line, two lines, ay solution sa ating uh, system of linear equation. So, Ibig sabihin, infinitely many ang solutions. Then, uh, this system is called consistent and dependent. Pag mayroong solution, the system is consistent. Pag walang solution, the system is inconsistent. So, dito tayo sa pangatlo. Kung nakikita ninyo, well, hindi sila nag intersect Kahit i-extend mo pa yan. Sa kamagkabilang dulo, hindi yan sila mag intersect dahil they are parallel lines. So, da dahil parallel sila, wala silang point of intersection, so ibig sabihin wala silang solution. And dahil walang solution, it is an inconsistent uh, system. So we will solve system of linear equations by graphing. You have the given, dalawang uh, equ linear equation. So, dapat naka-brace sila. Then, label natin. Ito yung equation number 1. Then, equation number 2. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung equations natin, linear equations natin ay naka-standard form. So, dahil naka-standard form siya, mas madali kung ang gagamitin natin ay uh, intercept form. So, sa intercept form, kung natatandaan pa ninyo, sa intercept form ay hahanapin natin ang, or isusolve natin ang x and the y intercept. So, we will start with the x intercept. So, let y is equal to 0 dito sa first equation natin. x plus y is equal to 5. So, substitute the value of y which is 0. So, our x is equal to 5. So, our ordered pair, 5 ang x, y ang 0. So, next we will find the y by letting x is equal to 0. So, substitute the value of x, 0 plus y is equal to 5. So, our y is equal to 5. Ordered pair natin, x is 0, y is 5. So, we will plot these two points. So, first, the uh, five ordered pair, 5 and 0. So, 5 ang x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y is 0. So, so meaning, our point lies on x-axis. So, we have here the point 5 and 0. Next, 0 and 5. So, ibig sabihin, the point lies on the y-axis. So, here, 5. This is the 0 and 5. Then, we will connect by drawing a line. 
So this is the graph of our linear equ linear equation number one, x plus y is equal to five. Then we will solve again to the uh, second equation by letting y is equal to zero, solving for x. Equation number two natin, x plus two y is equal to six, substitute the value of y, then our x is equal to six. Ordered pair natin, x is six, y is zero. Then, solving for the x intercept, let, oh uh, no, sorry, y intercept, so let x is equal to zero, substitute to our equation, x plus two y is equal to six. x is uh, 0 plus 2y is equal to 6. So, our y by multiplication property of equality uh, divide 2, then 6 divided by 2. So, y is equal to 3. So, our ordered pair is 0 and 3. Then, we will plot the second equation. First ordered pair, 6 and 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, this is our ordered pair, 6 and 0. Then, next is 0 and 3. So, 0 and 3. So, this is our point 0 and 3. We will uh, draw a line. So, this is now our graph of Two equation. Then, kung napapansin natin, nag intersect sila sa certain point, which is, ang point of intersection nila ay sa 4 and 1. X is 4, Y is 1. So, this is our point of intersection. So, dahil meron silang point of intersection, or nag intersect sila, so, we call this the uh, graph intersecting line. Then, uh, yung solution is nag-iisa, one solution. And we call this consistent and independent system. So, for one is the solution of the system of equation. So, example number two, we have the given uh, two linear equation. Label natin, equation 1, equation 2. So, naka-standard form pa rin siya. So, uh, intercept form pa rin yung gagamitin natin. So, uh, 2x plus y is equal to 6. Equation 1, substitute the value of y. So, x is equal to 3. So, our ordered pair is 3 and 0. Next, for y intercept x is let x is equal to 0 so meron tayo y is equal to 6 so our ordered pair is 0 and 6 so we will plot this two points first ang 3 and 0 so 3 and 0 next is 0 and 6 okay Tumaas. Sige lang. Basta 0 and 6. Then, draw a line. Next, solve natin ang second equation. It's 6x plus 3y is equal to 12. Solve for x intercept. Then, substitute 6x is equal to 12. So, by multiplication property of equality, x is equal to 2. Ordered pa natin, 2 and 0. Then, solving for y, y intercept, let x is be equal to 0. Substitute, 3y is equal to 12. So, y, multiplication property of equality, y is equal to 4. So, our ordered pair, 0 and 4. So, we will plot first. So, we will graph the second equation. First point, 2 and 0. Then, we will label. Then, second point, 0 and 4. Then, we will label. Then, connect. 
Okay, so kung napapansin ninyo, wala siyang point of intersection because they are parallel lines. So, walang solusyon and this is called the inconsistent system. So, our third example, given x minus 2y is equal to 2 to x minus 4y is equal to 4, equation 1 natin. Uh, diretsyo na natin kasi marunong na kayong mag-solve. So, uh, i-substitute natin for our x-intercept. So, meaning y is equal to 0. So, our x is equal to 2. Then, y is 0. Second equation, y-intercept natin pala. y-intercept. So, let x is equal to 0. So, negative 2y. So, divide negative 2y both sides. So, magiging y is equal to negative 1. Then, x is 0. Then, second equation. Plot muna natin ang first equation. First point, 2 and 0. Then, second point, 0 and negative 1. So, negative bababa. X natin is 0. Negative 1 is bababa. Okay. So, so ating igag a, we will draw a line. Then, we will uh, solve for second equation. 2x minus 4y is equal to 0. Let uh, so, ano tayo? X-intercept, let y is equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 2. Y is 0. Then, uh, our y-intercept. So, let x is equal to 0. So, 0 na to. So, negative 4y is equal to 4. So, divide both sides by negative. So, magiging y is equal to negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, pareho sila. Pareho sila ng graph because x is 0, y is negative 1 din sila. So, this is the coinciding line. Ito ay coinciding line. So, dahil lahat ng points dito ay uh, solution to the, to the system of equation. So, magiging infinitely many ang solution then it is consistent and dependent system so pang apat natin we have y is equals to negative one, two, 3 over 2x plus 2 then y is equal to negative 1 half minus 2 so, our, kung nagpapansin ninyo, ang equations natin, system of equations natin ay naka-slope intercept form. Which is, napakadali nating i-graph pag naka-slope intercept form ang linear equations natin. Bakit? Dahil, i-identify lang natin kung ano yung y-intercept, which is the b, then uh, our slope or our m. So, label natin equation 1, equation 2. So, we will start with equations, uh, equation 1 dahil naka-slope-intercept form siya na. So, i-identify natin sa, sa equation 1, identify natin yung the y-intercept which is the b. b is equal to 2. Positive. Dahil plus ang sign dito. Then, our slope is this one or m. Negative 3 over 2. So, we will plot. Diretso tayong mag-plot nito. So, y-intercept is 2. So, 1, 2. Pataas dahil positive. So, ito yung y-intercept natin. First point, 0 ang x, then y is 2. Next is our slope. Our slope is negative. So, ibig sabihin, pababa tayo. 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung... Then, our run. Arise natin. 1, 2, 3. Then, run is 1, 2. So, ito yung 2. 
rise is uh, rise, uh, x is 2, positive 2, rise natin is negative 3, or the y. Okay, so our point is 2, negative 3, then we will plot, uh, or we will draw a line by connecting the two points. Then, we will solve the equation 2, or we will identify the given equation 2. B is negative 2, then our slope is negative 1 half. So, we will plot B or the y-intercept negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, nandito tayo sa baba. So, negative 2. So, 0 ang x, negative 2 ang y. Next is the slope, negative pa rin, negative 1 half. So, baba pa rin tayo. 1 tapos 2. Ang run natin is positive 2. So, our point is here. So, label natin 2 ang x, y is negative 1. And then, we will draw a line. So, kung napapansin ninyo, nag intersect sila sa certain point. So, eto ngayon, ang point of intersection nila ay nandito, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ang x, then ang y is negative 1, 2, ah, negative 4 pa rin. So, our point of intersection is 4, negative 4. Ito ngayon ang tinatawag na intersecting line. Then, ang solution natin nag-iisa, one solution. Then, ito ay consistent and independent system. So, our solution is... To, to our linear uh, to our system of equation is 4 and negative 4 okay so test yourself you try to solve yung dalawa etong dalawa by graphing para makuha ninyo kung ano yung solution and the type of uh, system so Yun lang, sana may natutunan kayo. Until the next video natin. Thank you and bye-bye.